Good morning. Oh my gosh. You don't wake up with a camera in my face every day. But when I do, it's to show you my morning routine is something that I get a lot of questions about. People wanting to know how I start my day. And I am a firm believer that what I do from the moment I wake up until I start my day kid free is what starts my day off right. So I'm going to walk you through exactly what I do every day. Oh boy. I have morning face, morning hair. Every single day, without fail, the one thing that I make sure that I do, it is my power promise. It's the thing that Chris and I talk about all the time. Um, my power promise is to make my bed, and I know it sounds simple and why make your bed, but when you can commit to something so simple every day and you can fulfill it day after day after day, um, you begin to realize the value of your word and the value of your promises and your commitment, and it makes what we call a promise-keeping machine Making my bed is super important. Now that my bed is made, I'm gonna go wake Maddox up, get him off to football. In my workout clothes, when my kids go off to school or football or whatever it is, that is my time to get my workout in. Let's go get Maddox up. Maddox has football. Let's see, Marley is in there sleeping. Hold on, let's see. There she is. <laughs> Cash and Roots are with Chris. Hurry, you gotta get ready. You have like 10 minutes till we have to leave. All right, getting, buddy, 10 minutes, you better hurry. Make your food. Okay, so we got bed made, so my power promise is completed. Got Maddox up. Next thing I'm gonna focus on is my nutrition. I start every single day with breakfast. Let me show you what I eat. I'm gonna make my protein shake right here. My water. I keep this so simple because I don't have a lot of time. I gotta get Maddox out the door really quickly here. Water, there's my lid. Every day, I do one flavor of this. Changes all the time. You gotta get your food. Come get your shake made. He does a shake too. I make my kids eat. I don't let them go to football. Or, oh, 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 look who's emerged. Look who had, oh, she's so cute. All right, shake made. Okay, while he's getting ready, I'm gonna go get my workout clothes on. That way when I drop him off at football, I can get my movement in, which is number three. So we got power promise, which is make the bed, wake the kids up, eat, and then we're gonna work on movement. All right, workout clothes on. I am ready. You ready, bud? Here we go. Get up, get up, get up. I gotta get my seatbelt on. Click. The next part of the day, I'm gonna drop Maddox off after I've dropped my kids off, one kid. Um, I'm gonna head over to the gym. I'm gonna get my workout in because the third thing, one of the most important parts of my day is moving my body. Like every day, I try and move for at least 30 minutes a day. My workouts take between 30 minutes and an hour. Um, but if I can only get five minutes in, I do it at home. Uh, but I am gonna get my workout in and then I'll come back home for my final parts of my morning routine. I am so much more awake now. Hey, I am here at Pro Physique's about to get my workout in. There it is right there. This is where it happens. This is where I move my body. This is the third part of my daily routine, kind of. I mean, I take kids places, but um, wake up, make my bed, nourish my body with food, and now I'm going to invigorate my body with exercise. Um, I'm getting a shoulder workout in today, just enough to really feel the pump get those endorphins cranking, and get on with my day. All right, workout complete. I am about to do my favorite part of my morning routine, and that is go through the Starbucks drive-thru. Make myself earn it with a good workout, a good bed making, and good nutrition. Now I'm going to get my coffee. My daily hug is number four on my list. You know what, as I'm in line, 
at Starbucks, I realized another part of my morning routine that I did not talk about every single day, every day. I gotta, I gotta hurry. Um, oh, I'm up. I get a gallon of water. I carry it with me all day to make sure I'm drinking enough water throughout the day. So technically it's part of my morning routine. Okay, I'm up. The iced coffee, one pump of mocha, the heavy cream, not half and half heavy cream. Oh my gosh. Making it through this drive through every single morning. That makes me so happy. I can't even explain it. Like the second the coffee hits my lips. I'm a different woman. Not kidding you. I am not kidding you. Here's the thing. Here's the crazy thing. I don't even like the taste of it. If I'm being completely real with you, but it's the routine. It's the habit. It's knowing that it's uh, predictable and it's reliable every single day. I'm going to go through that line, which grew exponentially. But it's almost like I make myself earn my favorite part of my routine. I make my bed. I eat my breakfast. I move my body, get a workout in and then I'm allowed to go to Starbucks. My day can begin, my routine is not over, but this, this coffee right here puts me in such a happy, peaceful, tranquil state. Is tranquil a word? I sounded like a train gun. That would knock me out. And is it a habit? Yes. Is it like a slight maybe addiction? Possibly, I'm not gonna lie, but this part of my daily routine, this habit, this addiction is a much healthier addiction than the type of addiction that I would naturally be drawn to, which is around um, my eating disorder. I also feel like my routine helps catapult me into my work day, into being a better mom, um, all of which I think I'm addicted to. When I'm all in, when I'm in something, I am all in all the way. Um, but the routine of it helps me feel balanced and create a sense of balance that I wouldn't otherwise have. This morning routine is everything to me. So now I have my coffee. My mind is in a happy place. I'm sure you can feel it. I, it's like I didn't, there's no caffeine in me. I'm going to go sit down at my chair next to my bed that is made. Actually, I'm going to get ready first. And then I sit down at my chair next to my bed and I journal. That is where I do my um, attitude of gratitude. I have a little thing that I do every single day where I, it's just something I made up because I feel like these are all things that you need to focus on in your life. I like to sit there and write five things that I'm grateful for. I like to say one nice thing about myself or write one nice thing about myself because I think it's so important that we speak as kindly to ourselves as we would expect people to speak to our kids. So I always say, is this, would I speak that sentence to my child? The one that I just said to myself. If the answer is no, like I look horrible in these clothes and I wouldn't tell my kids you look horrible in those clothes, I'm not gonna say it to myself. So uh, five things I'm grateful for, one nice thing about myself. I must compliment myself every single day. Then I say one dream or goal that I have and then I wanna write one thing that I can do today, small thing that I can do today to work toward that dream or goal. So I'm awake, I'm alive, I am happy, I am feeling the power of my routine. Um, I'm gonna head home now, I'm gonna go journal the crap out of my journal, and I'm gonna drink my friggin' coffee.